I'm standing by with the current NECW heavyweight champion, Antonio the Promise Thomas, and his partner for tonight, the former NECW heavyweight champion, Slick Wag the Brown. Tonight, guys, tag team grudge match, Sean Burke, Jeremy Prophet. The title is on the line. If either of these two guys pin you, they become the new NECW heavyweight champion. Champ, your thoughts? Joe, you know, everyone says that I'm crazy for putting my title on the line in the tag match. Or either man can pin me and take this title. But you know what? I've had the odds up against me before, and I'm willing to overcome them one more time. See, I don't take shortcuts. Sean Burke, Jeremy Prophet, you do. You see, you guys want instant gratification. You want it right here, right now. Well, guess what? Professional wrestling doesn't work that way. You guys think you're a finished product. You guys don't want to continue to learn, master your craft. You guys just want it all now. You want to take, 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 and you want to take this NECW title from me. Well, guess what? I didn't get here by wanting everything now. It's taken me 10 years all around the world, the highest levels there is to achieve this. And Joe, it ain't gonna happen tonight. I've said it before and I'm saying it again, right here. Either of you can pin me, not gonna happen. Cause see, you boys think your road ahead is paved with gold, this gold. <laughs> the road ahead for you is filled with SWB, The Promise, The Dream Team, Wagner, tell them what we're gonna do. First of all, Joe, welcome back. Thank you. Right. Tonight's a special night. Mm -hmm. 13 years, 13 years of pain, blood, sweat, and tears. Batch 13, Burke, Prophet, these two guys, SWB and Tony the Promise Thomas, what the fans have dubbed the Dream Team is standing in your way. And tonight, we're, gonna not, we're not only gonna beat you two down, we're gonna take out 13 years of blood, sweat, and tears Amen. on your ass. Amen. Prophet, Burke, see you two guys, or a bunch of cowards, man. You two guys want it quick. You want it now. But it don't work like that, brothers. It don't work like that. If you want the NECW Heavyweight Championship, you're gonna have to earn it. Ain't no shortcuts in NECW. Ain't no shortcuts when it comes to the dream no team. Tonight, when you step in the ring, with us, you will not be dreaming. You two will be living a nightmare and we're gonna keep you two awake the entire time and we're gonna beat your ass down and there is no way you two are gonna get up. Tag team grudge match coming up, title is on the line. I'm standing by with Jeremy Prophet and the former NECW Heavyweight Champion, Sean Burke, as they get set for an epic tag team battle against Slick Wagner Brown and the current NECW Heavyweight Champion, Antonio the Promised Thomas. And gentlemen, should one of you make Antonio submit or pin him, you will win the NECW Heavyweight Championship. First off, I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. This will be the last time I say it, won't it? Won't it? Stop calling me the former NECW heavyweight champion. Nobody beat me. Got it? That's it. Happens again, there's gonna be problems. Okay. And I like you, you're my personal announcer, you remember that? I'm coming, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about destiny. Destiny, the point which you will reach greatness. Destiny for the two of us 
This he could be in control of New England Championship Wrestling. Destiny is to take the NECW Heavyweight Championship away from Antonio Thomas. Antonio Thomas and Slick Wagner Brown think that their destiny is to stay where they are. They think that their destiny is to stay on top. It is not. Sorry, gentlemen, epic fail. Your destiny is staring you in the face. Your destiny is getting beat by Jeremy Prophet and getting beat by Sean Burke. What do you think about it, Brother Prophet? What do I think about it? I think that destiny is an apropos word. You hold that microphone right near me just like you're paid to do. I think that destiny is apropos. You know why? Because I can't wait to see the reaction on both their faces when it's our hands that are raised in victory. That's right, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide for those two, and I can't wait to see the excuses they're gonna make. Huh, Antonio Thomas, what excuse are you gonna make, huh? You gonna say that you sprained your wrist preparing for one of your five-finger dates? How about you, Slick Wagner Brown, my brother? What are you gonna say is your excuse, huh? That you were too bloated because it was that time of the month? You can make all the excuses in the world and it won't make a difference because right here standing before you is the future. Welcome to the future. Tag team action with epic proportions coming up next. Former. I am standing by with a special guest referee for tonight's feature match, the Eagle Maniac, Johnny Idol, NECW legend. That's right. Look at him. I, 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 I believe you. And uh, Paul Richard has made you the special guest referee yes. for tonight's Good. match. And, uh, well... <sighs> Look at yeah, with your, I, I know what you're getting at. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not going to lie. I do not like Sean Burke and Jeremy Prophet. I don't like him at all. But the fact of the matter is, I promised Paul Richard that I would call this match right down the middle. That's what I'm going to do. I never go back on my word with this company. Maybe other places. I'm not going to deny I caused my share of trouble, but never here. 
Well, there's a certain stipulation with tonight's match. It's true. Um, you care to elaborate on how you're yeah, going to handle I this? Uh, it's pretty tricky out there. If, if either Sean Bork or Jeremy Prophet pin the champion Antonio Thomas, he loses the title. It's a lot of pressure on him. There's a lot of pressure on me, too, to be honest. But um, uh, it, this, I have a lot of respect for Antonio Thomas. I really do. I, I, you know, I, you, I don't have to tell you that. And I have a lot of respect for the NECW title as well. And I will say this, though. <laughs> I, now, going after Sean Bork and Jeremy Prophet, there's a reason Paul Richard put me in this position. If you think for a second that you're going to push me around, you're going to intimidate me, you got another thing coming. I'll see you out there. Sean Burke now working over the leg of Antonio Thomas. Burke stomping away on that left leg in the corner, trying to soften him up. Profit now choking Thomas while the egomaniac Johnny Idol distracted. Sean Burke, the former NECW Heavyweight Champion, has never suffered a defeat in a singles match in his three-year NECW career. The only man in this company who can claim that he is undefeated in singles competition. Burke dragging Thomas into the center of the ring. Spinning toe hold, shades of the great Dory Funk Jr. Jeremy Prophet now, trying to get in, looking for an opening and takes it. Stomping away on that left leg of Antonio the Promise Thomas. Looking for ramming the knee of Antonio Thomas into the mat. Profit makes the tag, and it's Profit now. Working on the hamstring. Kicking away at that left leg and tying it up now. Sound strategy by Burke and Profit. Trying to take away one of the wheels of the NECW Heavyweight Champion. Fans, tomorrow night in Beverly, Massachusetts, you do not want to miss this smoking hot card. All the details will be coming up. Johnny Idol apologizing. Slick Wagner Brown telling him he's got to back up while Profit and Burke continue to do damage to the NECW Heavyweight Champion. To all our great fans on Cape Cod, New England Championship Wrestling, coming your way live. Clash on the Cape, Saturday night, October 26th. More information on that big card coming up later. Thomas trying to make a tag. Profit with the leg of Thomas, grapevine. Surfboard maneuver right here. And now Burke stomping away on the back of Antonio Thomas. Johnny Idol doing a fair job of calling this match. Thomas now. Trying to make a tag. Ah, Kirk stomping away on that left leg. Oh my goodness. Kirk just snapped that left leg of Antonio Thomas. The champion in trouble here. Should Kirk get Antonio Thomas? He would regain the NECW Heavyweight Championship. Now it's Burke trying to turn Thomas over into a crab. Not getting the job done. Half crab now by Burke. Burke laying it in. Burke putting his weight on the small of that back. The face of the NECW Heavyweight Champion, etched in pain. 
Thomas trying to get to the ropes. And he makes it. Burke will have to break the hole. So much at stake in this matchup. Cover right here, but only a one count. Slick Wagner Brown telling Antonio Thomas to stay strong. Sean Burke trying to intimidate the egomaniac Johnny Idol. I can tell you folks, that ain't gonna work. Thomas needs to tag out. Oh, wait a minute. Idol pushed Burke to cover right there and only two. Thomas trying to pull himself up. Here comes Burke, but Burke hangs his leg over the top rope. A break for Thomas. But Burke grabs a hold of that leg and pulls him, or tries to pull him, back in the ring. Thomas kicks him off and makes the tag. Here comes Wagner, Wagner, close line on Burke. Another. Slick Wagner Brown, the fresh man, spinning Burke around. Head first into the canvas. And Jeremy Prophet getting swung around and dropped. Slick Wagner Brown, large and in charge. As Burke now reverses. Wagner off the ropes. Wagner hangs on. Burke sent over the top to the floor. Here comes Prophet. Prophet joins him. Wagner Brown now getting up ahead of steam. And knocks both men down into the audience. These fans that have jammed the Cove Community Center in Beverly, Massachusetts, getting much more than their money's worth in this action-packed matchup. Slick Wagner Brad checking on a little girl in the front row. Wagner Brown now all the way upstairs. Missile drop kick, hits the mark. Covered by Wagner, this could do it. Two, oh, only two. Only two. Tom is still favoring that left leg. Burke now trying to pull himself up. Thomas laying in wait. Thomas with a spin kick right into the midsection. Wagner goes for the cover, but Jeremy Prophet makes the save. Prophet with knees to the chin of Slick Wagner Brown. Wagner now fighting back. Prophet sent to the outside, but Burke from behind, clubbing blow. Now Thomas attacks Burke from behind. It's two on one. Thomas and Wagner against Burke. Burke now, the big man. Trying to set both men up here. Nothing doing. Sean Burke is a monster though. It's taking two men to control this guy. Upstairs and down. That wasn't pretty. Sean Burke taking that blow on his shoulder. Antonio Thomas still favoring that left leg. Here comes Prophet from behind. Prophet shoving. Wagner into Thomas. Rolls him up. Has the tights and gets the three count. Chris Norman has the official word. Jeremy Prophet stealing a win with two handfuls of the tights of Slick Wagner Brown. Antonio Thomas retains the NECW Heavyweight Championship since he was not pinned or made to submit. But this is certainly at least a psychological blow to the Dream Team. Here's Prophet and Johnny Idol. Are you, oh, wait a minute. Prophet just tagged Johnny Idol. 
dissension in the ranks now between Sean Burke and Jeremy Prophet. We're going to cut to a break right here. We'll be back with post-match comments when we continue after this. New England Championship Wrestling returns live tomorrow night. It's Friday Fight Night at the Globe Community Center, 19 East Corning Street, Beverly, Mass., with an 8 p.m. bell time. In the main event, NECW Heavyweight Champion Antonio The Promise Thomas collides with former champion Sean Burke in a two out of three ball showdown. NECW Television Champion Johnny Thunder battles both Jason Rumble and Mike McCarthy in a triple threat match. NECW Tag Team Champions Mike Webb and Nick Fahrenheit put the titles on the line against former champion superstar Scott and Slade and the short sure thing Mark Sherman. Slick Wagner Brown battles former best friend Bobby Ocean. Canadian sensation Jeremy Profit squares off against NECW legend the egomaniac Johnny Idol. Plus, former world heavyweight champion and current North American champion the Tokyo Monster Cahagas makes an open challenge and more. Saturday night, October 26th, New England Championship Wrestling debuts on Cape Cod with Clash on the Cape at the Hyannis Rec Center, 144 Bassett Lane, Hyannis, Mass., with a 7 p.m. bell time. In the main event, former NECW Heavyweight Champion Slick Wagner Brown battles arch rival Jeremy Prophet in a last man standing match. Plus, NECW Television Champion Johnny Thunder, World Women's Wrestling Champion Alexis Nevea, and much more to be announced. Tickets for both of these events are on sale now. Online at NECW.TV or call toll-free 1-800-838-3006. That's 1-800-838-3006. Don't miss Friday Fight Night, tomorrow night in Beverly, and Clash on the Cape, Saturday night, October 26th in Hyannis. What a wild match. Gentlemen, unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry. You guys have got to be disappointed. Disappointed? Disappointed ain't the word, Joe. I'm pissed off. Prophet, you may have beaten me tonight, but you need a whole handful of types to do it. Not only are you a coward, Prophet, you're a cheater. But you know what? This ain't over. It ain't over by a long shot. Prophet, you got a whole lot more ass whooping coming your way. I'll see you soon. Antonio, at the end of the match, Sean Burke issued you a challenge. October 4th, Friday Night Fights, Beverly Mass, two out of three falls. Joe, there's nothing, nothing right now that I can think of better than beating Sean Burke, except beating Sean Burke twice. See, Burke, let me reiterate this one more time. Even after tonight, when the odds were stacked against me, you still have not beaten me. You have not pinned me. You have not submitted me. So what makes you think you're going to pin me twice in one night, let alone my whole life? Well, Beverly, October 4th, this title is on the line. You're going to have to kill me for it. You're going to have to pin me twice. You ain't even going to do it once. Because you see, Sean, you're not headed for any CW gold. No, <laughs> no. October 4th, Beverly Nats, where you might be headed, my friend. <laughs> Once again, you might be headed to the hospital. And that, that <laughs> is a promise. Jeremy Prophet, Sean Burke, you guys won the battle tonight, but it's clear this war is far from over. Oh, you're right, we won the battle. That's right, because you see, I went in there and did exactly what I said we were going to do. I went in, I took care of business. I made sure that Slick Wagner Brown lost, that he lost right in the middle of that ring in front of all those people. Hey. Slick Wagner Brown lost, which means neither of us have the heavyweight championship around our waist. What's your deal, man? What is it? We went out there with a plan. 
We went out there to win the title. We didn't win the title. Because your ego. Look, Sean, I'm going to explain this to you plain and simple. I did what was best for us. Not what was best for me, but what was best for us. Let's face it. They hit you with that flapjack. You were down. Okay? Would you have rather I just leave you there and let them win? No. I made sure to tag you. I made sure to use my brain, something that they don't have. The same reason I assembled us and Bobby Ocean. I went in there. I got the job done. I got us out of a bad situation and turned the negative into a positive. And now you have a title shot. Fine, fine. Two out of three falls, you're going to become the NECW champion. I know that. And I took care of Slick Wagner Brown. You see, you saw it. Everyone at home saw it. Wagner Brown, you went down for the three count at the hands of Jeremy Prophet. That's right. I pinned your fat ass to the mat and proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm the better man and there's just nothing you can do about it. It's fine, what's done is done. What's done is done. We won and we're gonna win again. Antonio Thomas, I told you in the ring, you escaped this time. You've escaped before. You're not gonna escape again because I laid down the challenge and yeah, you were man enough to accept it. Congratulations. In October, in Beverly, when we come back here, you and me, one more time, one on one, best two out of three falls. What that means, Promise, is that if I beat you on the first fall, you can still beat me. If you beat me on the first fall, I can still beat you. So it's good. There won't be any whining. There won't be any complaining. There will be one true NECW heavyweight champion, October 4th. The mission comes to fruition. The official printing company of New England Championship Wrestling is Color Copy Center Boston. We copy, we print, we bind, we laminate. And we offer free delivery in Metro Boston. See us at 31 St. James Avenue in the Park Square building. Call us at 617-391-0030 or visit us online at colorcopycenterboston.com. They make NECW look good, they'll make you look good too. Johnny Idol, we just saw a phenomenal match. Not exactly the results most people were thinking of. It seems you had a little, well, <laughs> kind of go around with. Yeah, yeah, you listen. Mr. Prophet. Listen, Joe, I told you, I told Sean Burke, and I told Jeremy Prophet that they weren't going to push me around, they weren't going to intimidate me. And I wasn't intimidated. I'll tell you what, though, Jeremy Prophet, now that the match is over, I don't have to be impartial anymore. <laughs> I don't have to be nice anymore. I don't have to call it down the middle. I'll tell you what, if you think it's over, now that you took that shot at me after the match, you don't know anything about me. You can guess again. So I came back downstairs. I found Paul Richard. I found out who your next opponent, your, your next opponent was. <laughs> Turns out you have an open contract, and I always carry a pen. I signed my name on that dotted line. Coming up October 4th, it's me and you, pal. You better lace up your boots, because I'll tell you what, you got a fight coming your way. I'll see you later.